Hey, hello, and welcome to this video on koji making. Koji is the first step in producing sake. Koji is to sake what malting is to whiskey and beer. It helps in the formation of aromas and flavors. This occurs via a combination of esterases and saccharide specific enzymes. Koji produces alpha, beta, and gamma amylases. By altering the environment, enzyme production is selected. This is done by curing it in an environment between 36.6 and 40 degrees centigrade. Lower temperatures yield proteases, which create undesirable waste products, particularly flavoring compounds. The koji mycelium must reach deep into the grain in order to achieve the sacrification desired. The mycelia bore into the grain when moisture is evenly distributed across the entirety of it. This forces the mycelia to bore further into it and create more enzymes in order to remain alive. The koji enzymes are desired as these produce the sacrification required and thereby the sugar for yeast to produce ethanol. They also contribute significantly to flavor. The pH of the koji alters the enzyme activity rate. This leads to a low alpha and beta amylase activity but high gamma amylase activity, and this results in a particular rate of conversion between the saccharides and into simple glucose molecules. This slowdown and the sugar concentration gradient is thereby reduced. This also reduces the osmotic shock the yeast suffers when it is introduced later. This enables a high ethanol concentration by comparison to most other beers. In order to create koji, take rice and spread it across a solid surface like a baking tray. In this case, a large jar is used. Sprinkle one third of the koji spores that will be used over the rice. Mix it and repeat. Doing this twice more, you then place it in a cooler at 30 to 35 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Check it at 24 hours for koji penetration. This is done by opening up a grain with a knife and seeing how far into the grain the mycelia has penetrated. After which, remove and bring it to temperature and then proceed to the next step or storing it in a fridge or freezer. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.